Now beef and curry peanut sauce is one of Thailand's most popular curry dishes. And today we're going to show you how to make it to yourself. So what do we need for this dish, Mom? For paneng nua, I need uh, two pounds of tri-tip slice into bite-sized pieces. Okay. And first I will cook it with uh, water. So put in water about one and a half cup. Okay, and in a pan like that, a in shallow pan. pan. Or a rather deep pan, actually. Yeah. And you're going to bring that to a boil before you put your tri-tip in, right? Mm hmm Okay. Okay, the water is boiling. Put the meat in. Okay, and you're going to cook, you're going to fully cook this right now? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. One teaspoon of salt. Okay. All right, so the water's cooked down mm -hmm. about to a quarter of what it was, almost gone pretty much. Uh -huh. And what's next? Okay, we turn the heat off. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put this aside. Okay, now we're going to use another pan to cook the curry. Medium heat. Medium, all right. So, first I need one can of 13.5 ounce coconut milk, but okay. I pour in two cups first. Okay. Can. Okay, and bring the coconut milk into a boil. Okay. Put in the two tablespoons of uh, paneng curry paste. Okay. And now what exactly is in paneng curry? Paneng curry paste is a blend of uh, dry chili peppers, uh, peppercorns, fresh shallot, fresh garlic, uh, cilantro root, cilantro seed, uh, cumin seed, lemongrass, uh, galanga, salt, and shrimp paste, and mash into paste. So you're mixing it in real good. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything gets blended up and incorporated into the coconut milk. Now we can put in the fish sauce. This okay. is four tablespoons of fish sauce. Okay. Give it all its salty flavors. Mm -hmm. Now it really smells like Penang curry. <laughs> Had to add the fish sauce. If you feel the heat is too high, you can blow it down. Okay. You don't want a vigorous boil. You just want it bubbling a little bit, right? Ready for the meat okay. that we cooked earlier. Give a little help stirring it. With all the juice, too. That's right. The juice is good part. You're coating the meat in the sauce now. Mm -hmm. And you're not really cooking the meat because obviously it's already cooked. Normally, uh, most people don't put any vegetables uh, except the Thai basil, uh -huh. but I like uh, vegetables, so I'm going to cut some carrot. Okay, great. Uh, why don't you put uh, about half cup of water, water. in it? If it's it looks looking dry, dry, right? Uh -huh. How's that? Yeah, that's look good and, and let it Sit. cook. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's get to those carrots. Okay, I probably need about four carrots. So I clean this. And this is so fresh, so normally when the carrot is, is fresh like this, I don't bother to peel the skin. Okay. And now, are these carrots going to be soft when you eat them in the curry? Uh-huh. Okay. We cook this until it's tender. Okay. And I like the carrots in there because it adds a little bit of color. Uh-huh. But you never really, you won't see that in Thailand, really. This is... Your own special uh -huh. edition. <laughs> oh, okay. Before I put this in, I uh, will put three cup of lamb leaves. Okay, and you're tearing them up to release those oils and the good flavors, right? And that'll add like a, a nice lime flavor. Not sour, but like more like kind of like a lime peel, right? Yes. Okay, put this in. Okay. I'll help you stir it up there. Yeah. We can add a little more of uh, coconut milk. Okay, at this point. Uh huh. How much you add? How about half of what's remaining? Mm hmm. Okay. And a little more of uh, water. Okay. So we cook the carrot until the carrot is tender. Okay. 
Actually, at this point, you can cover, okay? And once you cover it, how long do you want to cook it for? Probably three, four minutes until the carrot is cooked. Okay, let's see the, yeah, it's cooked, the carrot is tender now. Okay, so I'm going to put in one tablespoon of sugar. Okay. And put in two tablespoons of peanut, peanut butter. butter. Chunky peanut butter Chunky. again. Mm -hmm. I like to have those little bits of nuts in there. And then I will cut some uh, red bell pepper. Okay. And now these bell peppers give a great contrast to the soft carrots. to give you a little crunch and really good color too. Okay, stir it in a little bit. Okay. We don't have to really cook this. Right, because okay. you want to keep them crunchy. Mm -hmm. The Thai basil, and then if you cannot find this, you can use the sweet basil. Okay. And a little coconut milk coconut to top milk. it off. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can turn off the heat now. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Dish looks great. I love all the colors. Okay, you want to try? Of course. I'll just try the sauce. It tastes so great, but you know, this Penang curry is a very mild curry. So, you know what I would really like is a way to spice it up. Oh, this is easy. I can make you a bowl of uh, Nam Pra Prick. Okay. Or fish sauce with chili peppers is basically the Thai basic condiment. Like, we've got salt and pepper on the table. Well, Thais have always got numpla prick on the table. So all you need for this is very simple. Mm -hmm. A bowl of fish sauce and sliced chili pepper. And now, of course, it's suited to your taste. If you like spicy, you're going to add a ton of chilies. And if you like mild, but you still want a little kick, just add a few. And of course, okay. that completes my meal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we serve Penang Nga with uh, steamed jasmine rice. Okay, we've got our steamed rice here, all hot and ready to go. Okay. Get a nice serving of the Penang, and then a generous scoop of rice too. <laughs> And I'm going to pour some fish sauce with chilies over mine. Thanks so much for joining us. Kokunka. Want to learn how to cook the Thai dishes that you've seen on today's show? Email us at dim at thaifoodtonight.com and tell us the recipe that you'd like. We'll also be happy to try and answer any of your Thai cooking questions.